Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we're going to talk about our mace outside circle to an alternating hand coin flip. In our previous video, we worked on our inside circle to our hand change, and then we returned to our starting position. This video is going to be the exact opposite of that. We are going to start feet shoulder width apart, pointed straight ahead, starting in our balanced position. Our elbow is on our body, lower arm parallel to the ground, horizontal, upper arm vertical. That gives us a nice 90 degree angle. If you're having trouble holding balance, this is always the problem. Focus on this. We are doing the opposite of what we did in the previous video. Previous video, we did our inside circle moving towards our center line. Now we are gonna move outside circle away from our center line. We are gonna rotate using our rear leg, initiate with our rear leg, lead hand drives out. We are gonna to come to this opposite hand catch. Stand the club up. You don't have to stand it all the way up, but that is the easiest way to do it. The more vertical this is, the easier it is to hold. We are going to start working the lever with this hand. This hand is gonna be palm faces away from us, thumb pointed down, stand it up, and return to our starting point. Outside circle, change hands palm faces up, come to a balanced position, use the top part of your thumb to complete the catch. Palm faces away, point it back upright, inside circle to return to our starting position. Put your hand between the mace and your face if you're gonna clock yourself in the face. You always want your teeth, your teeth are very important. Outside circle, catch, return to position. Outside circle, catch, return to position. As you get tired, you're going to need to use your legs instead of just this arm to get the weight going. This is mostly arm, but it starts with the opposite leg. Outside circle, catch. Opposite side leg, absorb force. Use that force to stand the weight up. Return to position. Catch. Stop. Catch. Stop catch, stop. When we're doing this catch, we want our palm to be facing up and we want the handle of the mace to end up directly in the L of our hand. So that when we get it up, our pinky is as close to the ball as possible. The further away we are, the harder this is. This is gonna get really fatiguing really fast. The further you are away from the weight, the harder it is. Get your hand as close to it as you can, palm faces away, get that balance point, elbow to hip, return to our starting position. As with all of these, we're doing this for time under tension. One minute, we changed one thing. In the previous video, video 19, we did an inside circle to a cross body catch. Now we are doing that outside circle to an outside catch. All of these things are different. Your brain will treat them all differently. They seem like small differences until you go out and you try them. But having this ability to change direction over and over and over again is a fundamental athletic skill. Changing hands is a fundamental athletic skill. I always think of this like chin na in old Chinese martial arts. The art of seizing and grabbing. The art of seizing and grabbing. Seizing, grabbing, and establishing control. The ideas are all old. They are old ideas, 5,000 years old at least, but they've kind of been lost, so let's bring them all back. 